Hello everyone! In this video, I will show you some improvements that I did in the code and also in the hardware for a smart switch from the previous video. See in the right up corner if you have not seen this video yet. What I have changed is listed here. A push button was added to manually toggle the on and off by pressing shortly this button. This push button, if you press it for 5 seconds, will also clean up the Wi-Fi credentials and force the smart switch to change to access point mode, so the user can change the Wi-Fi network or update the Blink token or the Google device ID. Status LED. I update the ESP8266 code to make the built-in LED to indicate when the smart switch is in access point mode by blinking constantly the LED. The ESP8266 code was also improved to synchronize the status of Blink, Google and also the push button. So whenever one of those methods changes the state of the smart switch, the other one, the other end receives the update. For instance, if I turn off my smart switch using the push button, then Blink and also Google Home will be updated. The same happens when acting with Blink and Google. When turning on and off by one of them, then the other receives the update and keeps the synchronization of the status. To update Google Home with the state of the switch changed by Blink or push button, we need to send a POST request to the Java backend where the message body is in JSON format, containing the state object with the updated value. This function is responsible for that. If you know Tasmota, a firmware for ESP8266 that supports MQTT, you may ask or wonder why I'm doing this code instead of using Tasmota. The reason is flexibility. When you have control of the entire code, you can change according to your needs, like implementing this function to update Google via HTTP. Anyway, Tasmota is a really good solution and option for projects like this. And in my next video, I will show a similar smart suite using Tasmota and also integrated with Google Smart Home. So you can use Google Home app and Google Assistant with Tasmota device without a third party. 